Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our next speaker, Vancouver artist Ken Lum. For over 25 years, Ken has exhibited nationally and internationally. In recent years, he has also worked on a number of public art projects. A Guggenheim Fellow and Natishan Foundation Award winner, Ken has taught in numerous art colleges and universities around the world. He is co-founder and founding editor of Yi Shu Journal of Contemporary Chinese Art. Recent public art in Vancouver includes the Maplewood Shacks by the Shangri-La Hotel, Four Boats Stranded, Red and Yellow, Black and White atop the parapet of the Vancouver Art Gallery, and Monument for East Vancouver located at 6th Avenue and Clark Drive. It's my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to you Ken Lum. Thank you very much, uh, Senator. Um, it's quite dark in here. I find it a little bit cool and creepy. <laughs> and so it's very apt in terms of the topic I want to discuss t tonight, which is ghosts. Um, when I refer to ghosts, I'm not necessarily mean, meaning Casper the Friendly Ghost or ghosts that scare us as you see in uh, horror movies, but rather um, liminal beings that somewhere occupy um, the distance between life and death. And there's ghosts everywhere. In this picture here, it's a very old picture of um, in the uh, East uh, Strathcona, just direct your eyes on the very top picture. That's the elementary school I went to in East Strathcona called Admiral Seymour High School. That's uh, elementary school. And um, you can see there's a, a freight train uh, parked there. They used to be parked there for hours on end. I don't know whether they still are, but they used to when we went to school. And to go to school, many of the kids attending uh, 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 Seymour had to crawl underneath it. And every so often, you know, the cars would start to move and so on. And, um, Eventually, um, the worst happened, and, and there was um, some terrible accident involving a child from um, returning home from um, Seymour. And so to me, every time I go by that school, um, I see that ghost of that child. I think that's actually a very healthy way of um, thinking about sites in Vancouver. Um, I don't think ghosts should be they should haunt us, but in a very productive way, is my point. Further, um, I just recently uh, came back from China. I'm very involved in a lot of projects in China. And um, as, you, as many of you know, the traditional Chinese-Canadian populations gathered around Strathcona. And uh, uh, Admiral uh, Hobart Seymour, the name of the, uh, the, the after which the name is, uh, the school is named after, he was the, a, a very instrumental in terms of the uh, Sakyam, Second Opium War. Um, he was actually uh, called by uh, Lord Elgin to um, uh, fight the uh, Boxer Rebellion, which was a patriotic rebellion in China, and uh, to bombard the so-called Taku ports and so on. So to me, um, my, that is another type of ghost. It's a kind of iron historically ironic ghost that uh, returns and returns and to a place thousands of kilometers away across the ocean whereby Chinese kids are going to school in a, in a school named after um, Admiral Seymour, who was instrumental in the further colonization and oppression of uh, the Chinese. I think that's a kind of an irony there and so on. The city is full of ghosts and what's really annoying to me in terms of the city is how people don't seem to care. Berlin, for example, is full of ghosts, and it's a fantastic city because they, they are always trying to exercise their ghosts. They're always trying to deal with their ghosts. Right? It doesn't mean that they'll solve the problems that the ghosts will go away. That's not the point. The point is that they acknowledge their ghosts, and that's why it's a great city. China is a kind of interesting country because the state knows that there's a lot of ghosts, and the citizens knows there's a lot of ghosts. The Cultural Revolution, the Great Leap Forward, you, you name it. And these are all fraught with ghosts, and yet um, 
And, and this, because it's an authoritarian state, they put their, uh, they try to suppress the people. So they suppress the people by clamping down on all the ghosts, the memories of ghosts, and so on. And because they suppress the ghosts so hard, it actually, actually, from an artistic and cultural point of view, creates a lot of room for expression. And so it becomes quite complicated and interesting. But in difference to that, in Vancouver, if you talked about ghosts, and you told them that down on Denman Street, there used to be a Hawaiian uh, community there, including um, comfort women uh, from Hawaii that was brought in by sailors from, from the Hudson's Bay Company to work for the Hudson's Bay Company. Or there are ghosts along um, Still Creek near Renfrew Street in Vancouver of Chinese coolies. There's ghosts, or there's um, the ghosts of Hogan's Alley, which is now the entrance to the Dunsmuir Viaduct, where a lot of African um, Canadians um, situated, and many of, of which whom were porters for the CN and CP nearby. Right? But the problem is that when you bring up these issues with a lot of Vancouverites, or too many Vancouverites, the response usually is, oh, that's nice, or whatever. And I think we'll never be a very good, very interesting city with that kind of attitude. Even, even in terms of Judge Finch's bringing up of uh, uh, Francis Rattenbury's uh, courthouse is interesting because, you know, Francis Rattenbury himself uh, was alleged to have murdered someone. And uh, so he, he forms his own ghost in terms of the own building that he designed, <laughs> right? And of course, there's another ghost there which is related to the Komagata Maru. Another ghost would be the recent debate which, uh, over the renaming of Stanley Park. Whether you believe that was, the, that was uh, you're for it or against it is not the point. My point is that, you know, the, the issue of, uh, of Swai Swai, what happened to Swai Swai, which was a village that was near Brockton Point for nearly 3,000 years, that was the issue we, we should have debated. Instead, the debate quickly collapsed into, oh, no, 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 we, we're so used to Stanley Park. And, uh, you know, tourism, uh, we, we have to think about the tourists. It's too hard to pronounce, why, why. Right, so my point isn't to take a side in terms of whether um, that was the right thing to do, to rename Stanley Park. My point was that at least a debate should have been um, stretched out beyond something as superficial as, that, as to dismiss it out of hand so quickly. And so, and, and there are, I can name all kinds of ghosts. By the way, there's a lot more ghosts on the east side than the west side. Most, mostly because there's more people there, it's older, there's more turnover. Um, the west side uh, has fewer ghosts, but they have a lot more skeletons. Uh, in, in, in part because they have larger closets. So, so my time is running out, and so I just want to end with a very fond boo.